everyone. Welcome to Skittish Moonstone. My name is Skittish. I am a one-year-old drawing that was created for entertainment purposes. So with that, I'm going to entertain you. Somehow. Honestly, she gave me no direction on how to do this at all. And by she, I mean my creator. Who has the attention span of a literal goldfish. Also, she's sick, so let's see if I get to do this again when she's thinking right, huh? <laughs> anyway, how should I entertain you guys? I've never done anything like this before, so what can I do? Oh, I can tell stories. Yeah, you know what? I'll tell you guys a story. So what story should I tell? I mean, I got plenty. I mean, I could always talk about the that one time, the ice cream incident, the fight with the old lady. Oh, okay, I got one. And I'm going to try not to start them with, you know, once upon a time. My creator does that a lot and I'm trying to avoid that. Okay, let's begin. This story really doesn't have a title right now, but I'll just title it as The Bumblebee and the Butterfly. Alright, so, um, they're all anthropomorphic animals. Well, bugs. So, that's probably what you need to know for the time being. Okay, okay, no more bumbling. I'm gonna tell the story now. Okay. So, one day, a bumblebee named Beezer was flying away from his hive. He was on the lookout for a special kind of flower. A beautiful blue flower with the sweetest nectar ever known to... to be, basically. He was retrieving this nectar for his girlfriend, Bella. Now, Bella wasn't a nice bumblebee. She started dating Beezer out of spite because her boyfriend dumped her for basically hoarding his honeycomb. Honeycombs are the houses that they live in. Anyway, he heads out for this errand for his girlfriend and he finds the blue flower. Right as he gets up to the flower, he sees this beautiful butterfly. Beezer was aware how butterflies were afraid of bees and approached it with caution. The butterfly nearly flies away in fear before Beezer can even speak. He tells the butterfly that she has nothing to fear. He is not hostile towards butterflies. The butterfly flies down to him. Upon closer inspection, Beezer realized that the, but the beautiful butterfly was actually a boy butterfly. He's never met a male butterfly before. He thought that was rare. They strike up a conversation about the nectar and the conversation went all over the place. From the monarchy of the bees to the humans that always try to capture them. They spent the afternoon just talking about random things. Even the weird taste in music that Beezer has that honestly nobody understands. But for some reason this butterfly does. After a, f after a while, the sun had set and the butterfly had to bid farewell to his bee friend. At the last minute, he asked for the butterfly's name. His name was Azul. With that, he flies home to his girlfriend to tell her about the butterfly friend he made. He was super excited to tell her about the cool conversation they had and how pretty the butterfly was, but Bella didn't really care for the whole conversation. Hell, she was mad that he was lit with the nectar and basically takes it for herself and tells him to go away. You've done what you need to do. He shrugged it off, thinking that Bella's just always like this and... You know, he can't change her. This is just the way his life's gonna have to be for a while. But that didn't stop him from meeting Azul more and more times. After his work, during the day, at night... Him and Azul became very close friends. However, fate was gonna change that. After nearly dying that winter, Azul decided that it was time for him to migrate down south where it was always warmer. Azul of course, talked to his best friend and invited Beezer to come live with him down south. He'd have his own room and they could build their own nest, just the two of them. Beezer loved the idea of moving away from the hive. He was getting really stuffy and all, especially with 3,000 siblings. Then, he remembered that he had a girlfriend at home and couldn't just leave her alone. That'd be selfish. Azul sadly understood his situation, but he leaves the option open just in case he changes his mind. 
He goes home that day, still pondering about the whole proposal. But he comes home to a very upset girlfriend. He asks her why she's upset and gets barraged with so many insults, saying that he's the worst boyfriend. He's never home in time. He doesn't make enough money to take care of her, and it just goes on and on. Something in Beezer's heart snaps, but it wasn't a feeling of hollowness that he's always used to, but a feeling of passion. He thought of Azul and how he treated him far better than she has ever did. He never yelled at him, berated him for his taste in music, or even yelled at him for the dumbest reasons of the house is too cold. Sorry, the honeycomb is too is too cold. Too cold. Why can't I say cold? Cold. Okay. Sorry. Too cold. And how she oh, he never wanted a large amount of money. I'm messing up now. He looked at his girlfriend and smiles. He tells her that he will fix everything. He leaves the house that night, only to return the middle, only in the middle of the night. He grabs everything he ever needed in his life: his music, some nectar, his passport, and a few other things. He hastily scribbled a note on a napkin and locked the door behind him. In the morning, his girlfriend wakes up to the honeycomb half empty. She thought they got robbed and went to make a phone call until she saw the napkin. Dear Bella, I'm done. Here's a tea to the honeycomb. Everything is yours now. Knock yourself out. She didn't even miss him. She was thrilled to have the honeycomb to herself. She scoured the whole place looking for his money stash, a place where he keeps most of his paychecks and stuff. Only to find that not only was the money stash cleaned out, but that she he wrote her name as the owner of the um, honeycomb, which basically meant that she was responsible for paying the bills, not him. This provided a problem for her because she didn't have a job, and she solely depended on Beezer. That's not good. It got to the point where she ended up having to sell the house regardless because she couldn't keep up with the payments. And she was back at square one. Now, she had that she lost two boyfriends and two honeycombs. On the other side of the world, mind you, Azul and Beezer were building their dream house in the warm weather and talking about the future and the cool music they're going to listen to and basically all the days they get to spend together without any worries and just being stress-free little bug bros. The end. What do you guys think of the story? Did you like it? I hope you guys liked it. Uh, that was a story from my archives. Well, technically the creator's archives. I kind of just nip these stories and put my own little twist on them. She doesn't know it's missing. It was a really, really old story, but I liked it, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Do you guys think it was too long or too boring? Because, um... There was a couple of edits that I had to make to the whole di to the whole story because it was kind of boring and needs some excitement. So, I guess that's it. If you guys like the story, well, maybe leave a like and a comment. That'd be nice. You don't have to. You viewing the video is enough for me, honestly. Maybe I'll do another one. Hopefully. All right. Well. If that's the case, then that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Have a good day.